Okay, in the series cracked floor joists, in the series of cracked floor joists and repairs. As you can see, follow that crack. The middle of the screen goes all the way down. I told you in a previous video, you map it with a piece of cardboard. You put it up there, you cut the cardboard to that top shape from the ceiling. That's obviously broken down, so you don't want to do it, don't do it from that way. Do it from the ceiling. That's going to be your guideline. This side of the joist looks pretty healthy. Although, uh, the metal will continue over to here somewhere. Like this plate. Now, some of you might have thought less of this plate because of the way it's uh, buttoned up. And, well, I wanted to show concept that I don't care how you get clamped for us, just get it. Because this is just vibration. No. No vibration is going to really happen here to loosen up any screws. Just get it and clamp it any damn way you, any way you can. But without, not washers though. So washers are my least, because they can punch through, see that? And they create a stress that's not distributed like this big plate. Now let's just cut, and those little cuts dig in pretty nice. Wait for it, guys. Don't be impatient. So they're all, they're all in there. And the screws here stop the, the sheet, the middle of the steel, which is cut to around, the, cut to around this pipe, cut for around the pipe. It stops it from, Buckling, torsion buckling. That's what the screws are for. Okay, so that's all the intent of the screws are for. Just hold that plate flat against the wood. Now, let's step up to the new version. I said I would, Dawson and a few others, I would show you the new version. Um, with that said, I have these laser cut. These are laser cut 316 steel. And I still got to make the holes to match up here. But they're laser cut. So on the opposite side, you'll get the screws, you'll get the through balding on this side. And on the opposite side, you'll get the uh, these acting as a plate and also a tension band to tie the top and bottom together, overriding the wood even. I wanted to show you why I like this. Even This is my preferred method. I said I'll get to it for you. And you can use, you know, this, this class 8 bolt with some washers and nuts to go through here, through the back plate. Or you can use um, all thread, thread all, however you like to reverse that. And then these are galvanized. I just wanted to make sure they didn't... Uh, um, and zinc would be sacrificial and would be causing more anode effect. I, I don't want it to, to have that reaction. So this would be the screws that tied in that torsion buckling between the middle of the two ends. The two ends are where I'm getting my strength from. The middle there and the ends, all right? The two ends, and the middle is the, it's just screwed in. And I could have made these screws punch through the other side. I used two inches, they're gonna come up shy uh, from punching through the other side, but I'll get plenty of bite, and I'll know that when it pulls the plate in flat. So this, in order of things, you wanna get these screws in first, pulling the plate in flat, and then drill these last. Do not drill all these holes at one time. Clamp it up and drill the holes. You're just not going to perform. You want to do this correctly. Screw, put the screw section in first, and work your way from here out. From there out. Now this is, I think, part six in the video. Part five, you can see how that plate, and you can understand that better, um, how that plate works. I don't care if you use something like this. All right, if you um, through bolt it and grab some quarter inch steel. This is quarter inch, not three sixteenths. Again, it, it's the back, it would be the back side of something like this. Now, you can see that this will be plenty to my washer effect, my strap. The gusset plate is what it's making on this side. And on that side, it's clamp force is what I'm getting to, to happen. This in here just is redundancy to help it from uh, spreading apart, fracturing. This is what I prefer, a little bit of redundancy. So go with it, go with this. These are laser cut, like I said. You can make your own. You can get straps like this and just chop them with the, a bandsaw if you wanted to. I did not do that. This is just, again, laser cut. You can get something laser, riddled up like this, a piece of steel. You can go to your fabricator and say, hey, give me a piece of uh, 36 steel, 316 steel, and zip it up like this. Pattern it with your wood, though. Remember your cardboard? And you can attempt to do it one side with lad screws. Um, you can attempt that. Uh, I don't know how, how 
what kind of mileage you'll get on that. You don't want any split wood, so you're even though those lag screws will drive in, screw in, that's not going to happen. They're going to get pre-drilled, not to the point where I weaken the hole, just enough where it uh, doesn't expand the wood and make it weaker, actually fracture it. So not to the shank size. See, this is a major and minor. So here's a major, and the minor is that root, the, way, the, the smaller one. Not that minor, that's, that's too much of a wood removal. A little bit shy of that. And you'll know it when you're turning it into there, when you sample one. Just don't go, oh, I got it, and just start drilling all of them. Now do the one, check its behavior. Do the two, check its behavior when you screw in. You might decide that this wood screws in differently at this location than just a few inches over. It's a, it's a knot here, for example. There's knotted up there. It's going to be a little different. It might want to split. Now, this is an interesting character, this wood here. You can even support it from underneath, making... That would be required manufacturing, though. And I don't know if you guys would, would do that. Um, that's why I showed you in part one this gusset plate. Um, that's for strut, rather. The strut that you could put across the bottom of there and secure it up and then put your plates on. Because I don't think you guys would weld this together, would you? You wouldn't weld, well this is galvanized, but you wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't weld well for you guys that might know about welding. Um, but you wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't measure that joist, determine it's an inch and seven eighths, and then goes weld up an inch and seven eighths, would you? In, in honesty. You wouldn't weld the bottom piece on there and then just make it a U-shape, a giant U-shape like this. And slip it up around the joist and then bolt it together. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. You got it covered at the bottom, you got it covered here. It's not going anywhere. You U shaped it. Problem is, you can't screw to it anymore for drywall or anything like that. It, you'll have to pre drill holes into your pre drill holes into your bottom, the bottom plate, unless you had something like this. Um, so, would you do it? You know, and honestly, you probably would not. The repairs I've been watching on YouTube, everyone sistering wood, and I told you that, that's, and using even glue. It's just a waste of, waste of good time. Go with the steel. You're not going to have to worry about it. It's going to be there. It's going to be beautiful. Now, this will get, this had a drop ceiling on it. I'm talking the owner into um, getting rid of the drop ceiling and just putting fern strips down there. When I see fern strips, two by, um, two by material across it and then going back with 5 8 drywall. I like 5 8 drywall. It stays nice and flat. It's strong. It's got some fire rating to it. So you have to look at the series if you want to know how I jack it up. And and I'll do another another one. Once I get this one up, once we get there, we, why we, get this one up, then we'll, uh, I'll show it to you. So thanks for you cat supporters, the supporters of the channel. Thanks for you new subscribers. Um, thumbs up please, it helps me out, I guess, not really, um, I've revealed how much YouTube pays me and that they're crazy, but it still, you know, helps out, so, who knows, maybe we'll break their, break them one day, it's been three years they've been beating me up, let's see what happened, before that I was okay, crossed the line when I started talking about the, uh, Champlain Towers collapse, and the, uh, also FIU Bridge, that one, uh, doing great with that until uh, I outed their uh, I outed uh, the uh, the NTSB on that also when I got a copy of the, rep the true report and they got me shut down you know what they can get to contact Google and just say hey can you uh, disappear him and they're like no sweat we can do that so I appreciate your time and joining the join the private room that supports me and when you support me you support the cats so I appreciate that all right, so now you see that you got more into it. These are laser cut. These uh, guys here, that's why you see that little teardrop. The laser joint starts in there, and then you uh, has to start somewhere. And that's my starting point. Yeah, they could have started out, but it's it's not going to affect my strength for what I need it for. All right, oh, the uh, all thread thread all. You can cut those to length. And you washer them on top of this plate. It's up to you. You're going with clamp force. You can grease the back of them, the back of the head here. Grease it. Make sure you get the right end, the correct uh, end, um, nut, the correct face showing. 
Um, you can ask me. What, you can ask me what the correct face is, and I'll tell you. Dropping all types of pens out of my pocket. All right. Take care. Oh, look at this, guys. It's a bump cap. This is. It's a, a hard liner in there. It's not a hard hat, but it's called a bump cap. It saved me many times, and uh, yeah, looks a little dusty. It saves me many times because a lot of times you won't wear a hard hat. So it's they're, they're so yeah, and this has a low profile and. You can get them in different colors, so bump caps. Look them up. Yeah, they're not OSHA. They're not for OSHA, but they're used. I mean, they're they're they'll save you if you're not wearing a hard hat. If you just wear this instead, you'll be thanking me. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.